Okay, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for coming along on this lovely sunny day and for giving up your lunch to listen to me. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about the National Innovation Center for Data. Uh, so this is a facility that's being built in Newcastle on Science Central. For those of you that are from Newcastle, you'll remember there's the old brewery site. And it's now a 300 million pound investment that's going up in the center of Newcastle. So the National Innovation Center for Data is a facility that's, that's going to bring together researchers, practitioners, SMEs, everybody who's working in the field of data, whether they're working at a practical level or a theoretical level, in order to deliver real projects of economic value to the city. We'll do three things from the center. We'll run insights programs where we'll invite people to events where we'll talk about cutting edge technologies in data analysis and visualization, internet of things, cybersecurity, cloud computing and so on. But the meat in our sandwich here, or the second of these things, is a skills program. And our skills program will be run by bringing organizations into our building running collaborative projects with them that will deliver real IP for the business. And in the process of running those projects, we'll also upskill the people from the organization in data analysis and areas like that. And then the third thing we'll run is a connections program that helps maintain linkage between organizations, SMEs, students, interns, and so on. So all of the resources that you need to do data analysis and visualization. So why Newcastle? So Newcastle has a surprisingly long history of digital innovation. Not many people know that the very first internet transaction happened in Gateshead. You can look at the video on YouTube, a little old granny buying some groceries from Gateshead. Um, but we also at the university have a long tradition of working in distributed computing, in data analysis and cloud. And we're ranked world leading in those areas. We also have a real focus on engagement at Newcastle University. We're very, very keen to engage with businesses and provide some of the skills and expertise that we have at the university to help public and private sector organizations do things with data. We've also delivered a successful pilot and we've already worked with Northumbrian Water um, to help them with a hackathon and other events. So what we do in the National Innovation Center is we try to encourage innovation. And we do so by using this sort of uh, a model. We do world leading research within the facility. That feeds skills into the people who work on those research projects. And then those skilled people can deliver innovation to help organizations like Northumbrian Water um, deliver um, innovation and impact inside their organization. And then hopefully because of that relationship, they end up feeding us back problems that then drive our research forward. Yeah? And we've done this in an organization in the university called the Digital Institute that has raised something in the order of 100 million pounds um, to help research in the university. And we're ranked that's Newcastle Community Science. We also delivered a, a, something called the Cloud Innovation Center, where we've worked for the last two years with organizations across the board. Um, and we were collaborative of the year last year, by, uh, awarded by Dynamo. We're now moving into this new phase of, with the National Innovation Center for Data, where the work that we've done in the Cloud Innovation Center in trying to reach out to businesses, we're going to do that times 30. We have 30 million pounds to help us engage with businesses and help businesses. And we're going to do that across the entire board, across the country. These are some of the companies that we've dealt with over the last couple of years. And the thing that we've heard from every single one of these businesses is we've got tons of data. We're collecting more and more data, and we don't know what to do with it. We're only scratching the surface of our data. We haven't got the skills, and we haven't got the tools to let us really do the sort of predictive analysis, for example, that would let us get real value from the data that we're collecting. So we, we went with that story to Treasury and persuaded Treasury to give us 15 million, matched by Newcastle University with another 15 million to run this project. And what we're going to do is we're going to deliver knowledge and assistance in all of these key strategic areas, but with a particular focus on data analysis and data visualization. And we're going to do it aimed at a variety of vertical sectors. These are just examples of the areas we're going to work in. The way a customer would engage with us would be, we'll run events in our nice new shiny building that's going up in two years time. Um, we'll measure industry demand, we'll run technology showcases, and we'll have an events team that will run events to engage with organizations to try to find out what their interests are. 
When we identify the right organization, we'll then set up a three to six month project with that organization where the organization will supply a number of members of staff who have maybe data analysis skills and maybe some domain speciality. We will then put into that our team who are experts in, the, in these sort of strategic areas and they'll be provided to a, very, to a very high degree, to a very subsidized level, certainly in the early days. We'll then work together on this pilot project. The IP will be delivered to the organization and hopefully in working on this project, the organization's staff will have been upskilled in the newest tools and techniques, which they can then take back to their organization and exploit. So the building itself is going up, it's, they've broken ground on it, the building's going up in 2020. In the meantime, we're still running the project, but out of a different building. But eventually the building will have, um, it'll be um, unusual for a university building in that it's very, very open and very welcoming. We're trying to bring in school kids. We want the, the building to be full of school kids during the day, looking at technology and getting excited by technology. Students, SMEs, and larger organizations as well. We'll run public lectures for, for members of the public broadly and domain-specific events as well. Um, on the very top floor, we'll have some commercial space which, into which we'll attract uh, consultancies and experts in data who want to work alongside us with organizations to deliver value. This is the building. Um, it'll have a very large screen on the outside where we'll run lots of interesting visualizations to entertain people and attract them into the building. Inside the building there'll be a TED style theater and a big 3D, 3D theater as well. So if you have 3D visualizations you're interested in running in a large venue, this can be provided for you, largely free. Um, there'll be the floors where I'm ourselves and the National Innovation Center for Aging are based as well. And they're, they're an organization who are looking at how they can develop products and services to help an aging population. And um, not, they're not doing anything about biology, it's all about digital skills. And then we'll have the commercial floor as well. So um, we'll start work on this project within the next month or so. If you're interested in engaging with us and learning stuff, getting some IP and uh, getting skills to help you analyze and visualize your data, then please do approach me at the end. Thank you very much.